Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Today, I have cancelled the trades with Sunsnug so that I can finish more quests, because I should be able to finish the 8-star village today, as long as stuff doesn't take too long. I made a couple attempts at this. It was a real pain, but I've now checked some other stuff. And I should be fine to just... There might be a different fishing spot that I didn't notice properly. And if there is no fishing spot... If there is no different fishing spot, then this is a bad quest in my opinion. Because it's just a pain. What you'll see is there's a fishing spot that might not be a normal fishing spot in zone seven, but that's the Plesioth. And you can't really fish if there's a Plesioth attacking you. It's also a weird fishing spot because you can't move the lure. So if there's a different fishing spot in zone six, which I checked, apparently there's one. If there's a fishing spot there, then it will be better. And it won't waste 12 minutes of my life. Because apparently the Plesioth spends 300 seconds there. Okay, this is correct now. Which means that that fishing spot in Zone 7 is some, like, special, different type of fishing spot for some reason. Why it exists? No idea. What? An oh, I mean, I have to leave now because it's a waste of time. This is one thing that's bad about fishing in these games. It's like, oh, the optimal choice is if the fish you don't want, if the fish you need to catch isn't here, leave and come back. Why? Oh, if it does it, if it strikes three times and then leaves, it auto fails. Whereas if it fail, if it like, if it goes gray on like the first or second, and then leaves, then it doesn't auto fail. I didn't actually interact. I don't know if the Monster Hunter Wilds beta had. I don't don't remember. Don't I didn't check if it had fishing. And I mean, if it if Wilds has fishing, which it probably will, because why wouldn't it? It's probably the same old, same old fishing. Just oh, click, you got it, or click and then fight the fish, and then you got it. I think it'd be interesting to make it more interesting. But I don't like fishing in these games anyway, so making it more interesting would still it would still be fishing in a game that's mostly about hunting monsters, so It's, like, fishing's pointless, but well, other than when it actually provides you with stuff, but. Like, if you need sushi fish, or you need a wet fish. Yeah, there's two places to, that you can theoretically fish here, one of which is awful and unusable, and one of which is nice and relaxing. Ah, uh, but... 
right. I have another one that I'm going to do as a prowler. But I don't want to get equipment for this prowler. I don't like this system. Oh, it auto does it. You don't sort them to different pages. But you can't skip from this page to the first page by going this way. The gather quest. I guess gather quest, and then I can do the prowler quest, then the blangonga. And again, I'm still putting off doing all of the um, harvest tours because they're kind of nothing. And go going through them all at once will probably be worse. I should probably try to do one or two now and then. Okay, the name of this quest is Shell Game. Beautiful shells. I don't know where to get these. So they are obtained in areas 3, 4, and 10. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. I actually think 10 is up. Could not mute in time. I think 10 must be the one across here. Hello, Yen Garuga. I don't like you, but you're not the worst monster anymore. You're one of the worst, but not the worst. Okay, I'm looking for shells. I don't know what shells would come from, though. It could be bones. And if there's nothing else likely, then I guess it's bones. It's definitely not webs or plants, right? I don't see any unique gather points. These look like tomatoes. But they're on like a tall tree, so they're I'm pretty sure they're not tomatoes. It is a magic world though. Okay, shells are shells or bones, I guess. Which I guess contextually they could be similar enough. I just don't know if you'd traditionally refer to them as bones. Oh, good try. Thank you. Okay, back. I go. This is the type of stuff that I'm fine. I'm actually. I would never want to do this without. Something to make it like. Oh go to these areas. Because. Oh gather bones in every area. But you're not going to get anything. It's kind of. A pain. The advantage is you get extra resources. But. Did I just hear the Yan Garuga sound? Kind of hoping the Yan. What's a bone husk? Hoping the Yan Garuga leaves because I think that is zone three. And that's where I need to grab more. But I'll gather this while I'm here just to hope that the Yen Garuga leaves. Probably need to spend more time mining in a few areas to try to get charms. But I don't think hunting for charms is the way to go yet. Oh yeah, this is actually bones. Is 
Don't hit me. Rude, I'm in the water. How am I burning? I'm in water. Oh, thank you for the beautiful shell. It'd be a really annoying quest, but a quest where, like, you had to collect beautiful shells from, like, Mealinxes? If you had to beat them up until they drop beautiful shells, you're just stealing their nice collection? That was a bad hitbox. I'm out of here. I... I was like under its feet and its head slam hit me. Oh yes, I learned in the short time where I was trying to do that quest in the wrong area, I guess, before I gave up and was frustrated. Plesioth doing the 180 tailspin, which is boring and repetitive and I'll never forget, never forgive its overuse. It can hit a cat. Like, the hitbox is so bad. Like, the, the meme and all that's all about the hip check. But the tail swing. The cat is this tall. The tail is, like, four times. Like, the base of the tail is four times the height of the cat, pretty much. It hits. Nothing makes contact. It hits. Because otherwise, they made the monster too tall for it to actually be dangerous. Oh, the rust shard is an item. It gives a weapon, I think. Let's hope that I get a good item. Give me something useful. Useless. the prowler quest and then come back for the other the blungonga i think i'll do the last uh blah quest and then the other two will be fun leaving the best for last which is not what i normally am doing because if i do it that way it leaves me in a negative mood by the time i get to the ones that are actually fun and then i can recover but Okay, so I'm here to kill Conchu and Altaroth. Oh, I hate Conchu. Oh, they're so annoying. That one is dead, I think. I do like that they have, like, seemingly different designs based on where they are. Like, it's really cool that way. Because these ones are greener, I think, than some of the other areas. Like, the desert ones are less green. I think that's kind of fun. I don't know if there's Ultroth up top, so I'm just going to not go there. I don't know if there's Conchu either, but... Falling is quicker than climbing. I haven't killed Ultroth in a while. Just double check. Good. It's Altaroth. They had a quest for mushrooms where they had to eat something, then you had to kill them, and you got a mushroom. Since then, I haven't had to go out of my way to kill them. Oh, imagine this in the higher graphical quality. It would look so good. These are still suspicious. They just show up in weird places in this area. They're always there. They're not showing up, but... 
they, they exist in weird places. Which is weird. <sighs> Bug quest. Bug quests. This is better than 50 Bnahabra and 50 Vespoids because they're... Conchu are annoying. Alteroth are not. But Conchu are not... As annoying as they are, they're not as bad as bugs. Well, though, Conchu might be bugs. Just really big bugs. Why'd you beat up that Kelby? That's rude. Oops, that's not a path. The Kelby didn't do anything to you, probably. Like, I don't think con They don't... They seem bug-like, but they also seem... ...different. But they are probably meant to be bugs. With the fact that bugs, bug is not really a very... Um, solid definition. Where insect is specific, bug is very general. That blurry bottom area, like the, there's a triangle on the wall, the bottom part of, what well, triangle? Uh, it's hard to describe because I'm bad at describing. But the slope forms a triangle. And the, well, pyramid maybe? And with the slopes out, the slopes back in. One part's blurry, one part's not. Which is kind of funny. Kind of an interesting place to explore. I really like this. I think it would look better if the wind looked better, but... Which is, a, again, it's like, oh, it would look better if it looked better, but... Basically, what I mean is the wind looks... Uh, goofy? Because it's basically just a... F it's basically just applied to... It looks like it's just applied to the screen. Not that this screen is showing wind in the air. It just looks like there's wind on the screen and everything behind it's not windy at all. I don't know why it looks that way. But that's the impression it gives me. That the wind is in the foreground. And not in the actual scene. I guess the reason it looks that way could be because to me that feels like that'd be the simplest way to sort of cheat. And have wind that's there quick and easily. Two more quests. Easy. Kongalala Crest and a Blanganga. It shouldn't be bad. Guys. This is kind of an interesting. Like, whatever it is, this stretches between what the mandibles? Weird. I wonder if this animal's like that.
Or the mandible stretch, I guess. Lash skin, whatever, between them. Still not covered in. <sighs> they still haven't managed to. bury him in. mail. What a shame. Kind of wish he was buried in mail again. Okay, Mongolala Crest should be on the head. Like, where else would it be? I'll let you see some more furry friends chosen specially by me. Hmm. Ooh, the reflection. Exists. I think it's... A still image. Not really a actual reflection, but what's the reflection here? That one feels more like a re actual reflection. Yeah, oh, the crest is the stupid hair thing. Where it, once you break it... He looks silly like he got a bad haircut. too bad then. I wonder if that applies to the healing. Whether the Prowler healing counts as an item. Oops, that I tried to aim it down at the last second. I missed. Actually, if he can heal with his mushroom, I don't know how that works. I mean, it's not, he, he's never really done it because I killed him too quickly. But if he can heal with a mushroom, that will actually be helpful. Oh, okay, I love that that's an eight year long ground tremor. Okay, just get me out of here. I think Kongalala would be better if it didn't have ground tremors. And it just did more with its hunger and mushroom eating. Remove the ground tremor, eat more mushrooms. And can I get rid of this charge? Well, you're up there. I don't know where you're going. Watch oh, it, a super jump. The super jump is so silly. Like, I'm- I don't think it exists in later games. It's funny. It's dumb. It really shouldn't exist. Is he, it has a blue mushroom now. It had a yellow mushroom before. Like, it changed the color of its mushroom. You've never actually seen it do this, because it never... It takes too long to eat the mushrooms sometimes. Or it's easy to interrupt eating mushrooms, if you're mounting constantly. 
Maybe aerial style just destroys Kongalala? I've actually never seen it use anything other than Stink. It's actually cool to see it actually do this. Based on the mushroom that it ate, I assume, because it ate the mushroom and then it... ...started poison breathing. Though, of all the times to get poisoned, when I'm playing a Prowler that can't remove poison, it's a little uh, unfortunate. And a Prowler that has terrible healing, so the poison is actually dangerous. Mostly p terrible healing because it's really slow and annoying. I'm gonna die. Yep. Well, this doesn't really count as a death, but... It's really annoying, too. Because it takes eight years. I wish I had health horn. Or like true health horn or something to actually heal instead of having to do this six times. I wonder if there's another way to improve it. Healing is kind of annoying. It's infinite health and all that. You'll never run out of- actually that path doesn't go where I need it to go. The healing is infinite so you never run out of healing but it's slow if you don't have a higher tier but the higher tier ones I think do consume the skill stuff. Good try, Kongalala. It should be really close to broken, I think. Cause I've basically only been... Oh, that's annoying. And angles. Because you can't throw straight up, apparently. Learn to throw. Get better at throwing, because I don't want to climb up there, because it's really annoying. Oh, it's coming down, good. I've basically only been hitting its face. So it should be close. Mushroom eater. Unless eating mushrooms makes the crest stronger. I didn't get stinkified, I think. Oh, that's super annoying. I hate this multi-level combat. It's just tedious. Because you can't go up quickly. They can go up and down quickly. It's really annoying. Because you try to climb and then stuff like that happens. It's like, why bother? This mechanic. It 
And if my palicos don't get up fast enough and it aggro's on one that's down below, it will go back down right away. Yeah, so palicos just can't get stunk. I hate this as well because it just stops moving. I'm actually going to get fire breath if I don't get closer. Yeah, I, I'd love to not boomerang, but the melee just feels bad, too. Like, actually trying to use melee would be a super jump. Using melee could be good, but it doesn't feel good to use melee. This is going to get me to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Wrong path, but I should be fine. Yeah, I think I don't like Prowler as a hunting method. It's resource efficient, that's for sure. But that's kind of it. Just give me the crest break. I'm not even here to kill. Maybe the boomerangs don't apply the damage that's needed for the crest. That would be terrible to learn. If I kill it before breaking the crest, that's probably the reason. Because I have been focusing its face enough, I think. I mean, the other reason is maybe it heals its crest when it eats mushrooms. Oh yeah, poison standing in it. Didn't commit to the final attack. And honestly, if I fail this, I will give up, and I won't try it again. Fail it, like, kill him before I get the crest. And there has to be some... There has to be something I'm missing, because I don't feel like it should take this long. Ah, oh, lovely. Lose all the healing because a bug bumped me and did two damage. That's fine. It takes eight years to eat a acorn though, so I could spend this whole time checking. Oh. Wow, I can do an entire search on the internet in that amount of time. can't finish reading the search, but I can search it. I don't think that's possible to cancel that eating in this context, because it's just picking it up from there and then eating it instantly. And it knocked me to poison.
Vertical garbage. Oh, but now I should jump down because I can't run that direction. I should have healed before I went through. Probably should just have a better prowler. I guess my prowler is low level. I don't know if that affects damage though. Like the level of the prowler itself. Just one more. Where are you? Kongalala. Oh, it can run over a gap in the thing. That makes sense. Surprised that this is the second worst quest today. Mostly just because it really feels like it's taking. Oh, I'm not hitting its crest. It's taking a lot longer than it should. But I guess my palico is just bad. Or boomerangs don't affect it and it's boring that way. But if boomerangs don't affect it, then this quest is awful because I think melee prowlers just feels terrible. Didn't move fast enough. Get rid of this anger because it just wastes time even if it's useful. Get down here. There you are. Okay, I can do instant jump after landing. Give me... the crest. Aha! Evaded the roar. Sort of. Just stop doing this. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this in time. Interesting chewing. Go for it. I was mid-dodge it, so I was hoping I wouldn't have to worry about that, but... I don't want to die again, because then I'll actually cart. That'd be a major waste of time. Which is... what I'm more worried about because it's already so slow. Well, I'm, it's flying away. Perfect. Now look at Kongalala and try to look for information. The head is... Fairly high numbers. Yeah, 
Yeah, the head is just one head, four legs, hind legs, torso, tail. So there's only one hit that would be the crest. It would just be the head. It's like there's no other. There's no separate part between the head and the crest. So it kind of has to be that hitting the face is good enough. What was that? That looked weird. I guess a conga jumped at me at the same time. Ground drummer. My nightmare. Oh, come on. It'd be really annoying if, like, eating mushrooms heals it, and that heals, like, heartbreak of a crest. In which case, I'm just doomed because I don't do enough damage. Just purely a DPS check at that point. Oh, poison. I forgot about it. I forgot this game has the poison on the ground. This game and this position, this map. Stop charging, please. What are you... What are you charging? There's no mushrooms over here. I really don't enjoy Prowler. I was initially like, oh yeah, it could be fun in general. But it's just so clunky feeling that these hunts then just don't be they're just not fun because it just feels so clunky oh and it's immune to poison because I guess it eats poison and I went too far Get out of here, Conga. No one likes you. They're just nuisances. I didn't. That actually buffered through getting hit. Wow. It's kind of impressive. Don't. I thought there were like HP values on part. Maybe this just doesn't have that info. Stop, please. I mean, the village 8 star Kongalala has 8,000 HP. Apparently. What the heck? Like, what's the average? The Rathian for these quests has 4,000 HP. On this tier, the 8 star. The Nargakuga has 4,000. Like, 
I'm pretty sure the parts... The parts scale with their total HP. Which means that this Kongalala has double the HP of like every other monster on this difficulty. And I'm playing a Prowler so I do less damage because my build is terrible. I hate this up there. And on top of that, it has more HP and I do less damage. Which is why it feels like it's taking 8 million years, I guess. I'm going to complain about that hitbox. So I assume if it has double the HP of anything, the part HP is also going to be, like, double. have to wait for it to come down because I'm not going up there for it to jump down to me. I really think these... the fact that... okay of course it is half my HP by falling not even... Not even like an attack, just it falls and it does all my HP. I give up. I'm just gonna accept death. If my palicos don't heal me. I hate this game. I'm done. I was gonna do the Blungonga, but I'm out of here. I think this quest is not good. Why does it have double the HP of every other monster on this difficulty? For a prowler hunt. Yes, you only need to wound it so its HP being higher isn't as big of an issue. But it it affects like the expectations. Oh I, the crest breaks normally fairly quickly because the HP is half, so the part break is half. And then it takes double like more than double the time because I think it also might do higher damage I'm not actually sure uh, if I look at the hub it does 2.1x damage versus 2.3 so it's not more damage yeah I'm out of here I'll leave the Blungonga for next time and that should be the last quest for 8 star other than the harvest tours but those are a pain I'm just that. Why I give it double the HP? It has. Okay, there's a hub G2 interruption called Conga Line. That's two Conga Lalas that have 8,000 HP. Then there's a, hunk, a hub G2, not mushroom, to swing a Conga Lala, where it has 9,000 HP. It does more damage. Just unless the HP doesn't affect the part break, but I'm pretty sure it does. Why double it? It, it affects the expectations so much. But anyway, frustration has overruled me. So I'm going to finish next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.